hats and hoods. Mr. Fraser, you need to get to class. At Cincinnati public schools like Schroeder, some students have a much better chance of achieving the dream of going to college. They are the ones with mentors. So what's this? What, what, what is this you got on? What's, what's the, what's the school spirit? Spirit be for a pep rally. Paul and Patrick are 16-year-old twins. Cincinnati Youth Collaborative paired them with mentor Wade Edwards four years ago. He's a senior vice president at Fifth Third Bank and lives in Westchester. The first thing I did is I just wanted to break the ice, try to really understand who they were, what kind of things motivated them, what their interests were. So uh, we just got together at my house, took them to my house, hung out a little bit, chatted, played some video games. Uh, and then we started getting into their education, and my, my main focus is to motivate them on education and just uh, to have fun. We talk about sports, we play games, we do like school work. He tries to help us with stuff on the computer that we don't understand. Like, it's a whole lot, and I bas it's basically like we're family. So I got a computer you guys can share. I got it. I'm going to bring it over. What's the weekend like? The boys have really grown in terms of behavior and attitude towards school, and I really think that it's due to his influence on them. You know, he's shown them another way to live, and he's given them a concrete goal to reach. You know, so they, they want to live like Wade. He's successful. I'm trying to be a successful person when I uh, grow up and everything. I want to, like, have a good job, good house, good car and everything. Tennessee State. In addition to mentors, CYC provides daily access to college advisors like Andy. They target students in need and those who will be the first in their family to attend college. If you have a double major, do you have to have a minor? I don't know. I, I think. CYC advisors help with everything from essay writing to campus yeah, visits. Andy Holden just graduated from the University of Cincinnati and Alex Bodiford from Miami University. They want the 11th and 12th graders here today to write down their first choice for college and what they plan to do. Learn how to be a teacher, go to University of Kentucky, study abroad, and don't get caught up in college life. Uh, I wanted to go to Miami University in Oxford. I wanted to do a double major in, in uh, business and graphic design to so start. We wanted off. you guys to get a chance to hear that everybody's path is different. Some might want to go straight to a four-year school. Some might want to go to a two-year school to save money or for other reasons. Um, you hear some people want to get out of Cincinnati. Other people want to stay here. And they're very credible because of their age and their recent experience at college. Jane Keller is CYC's president and CEO and she's also mentored girls for 15 years. Okay, man, we matched him up with Gregory Hamilton. Oh, terrific. CYC has been collaborating with Cincinnati Public Schools for 24 years, and the data proves CYC programs work. And success to us is graduating from high school. 99% of the students involved in the CYC programs, whether it's mentoring or college access, graduate from high school. And of those seniors, eight out of 10 8 out of 10, we're so excited, actually enroll in college the following year. Pretty inspiring what these young people do. Ashley Dubois is one of those inspiring young people. She's studying strategic communication at Miami University. She has a scholarship, a full ride. Miami, I love it. I love it. She calls herself an inner city kid from Aiken High School who wouldn't be here without CYC. CYC is that, is that extra push that you need. You know, family will only push you as far as they think that you can go. But CYC is that extra push that's telling you, even though you think you can't do it, you can. And if you need help doing it, we have the resources that can get you to where you need to go. 12-year-old Bridget knows where she wants to go. I think I should go to college and have good grades so I can get a scholarship because I won't have enough money to pay for college. Bridget attends the CPS Academy of Multilingual Immersion Studies. Her parents are from Mexico. Two years ago, she was painfully shy, but she's blossomed with help from her mentor. She started doing, she did a singing competition, she's dancing at school, she's getting more involved. Mariela Oyola is a Procter & Gamble chemist. She's one of 25 Hispanic employees at P&G, who mentor Hispanic students through CYC's network. She's from Puerto Rico and communicates well with Bridget's parents who don't speak English. 
it took time to get to know them first. So I would come to her house and visit her at her house first. And I didn't just immediately just went and picked her up and took her with me somewhere. So I let them kind of get to know me, but it was really easy. Tiene que estar justo detrás. No puede llegar. If I can reach. Bridget comes to Mariella's house often. <gasps> you have Nutella? Oh, I love yeah. this chocolate. We'll get that after dinner. They eat dinner, study, and talk uh -huh. in English and Spanish. What? Yeah. ¿Para qué es esto? Para café espresso. And it gets us to practice each other's native language so we don't get to forget it. And it just, I think it makes it a little bit more personal, the relationship. Sometimes we go to the library and read books or do our work. And for my birthday, she takes me to King Island and stuff like that. So we do cool things together. <laughs> Mariella says mentoring Bridget has changed her life. I just feel completely attached to her. I want to see her growth, and I have I feel very very committed to that. It has made me want to lead this effort and try to get other mentors involved because I see what it can do to a child. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Patrick and Paul's mom calls her boy's CYC mentor a blessing. I'm a single mom. It kind of helps them to have that extra person to spend time with and to show them different things that I can. Being with him is like he got us interested into golf. Like, we got our own set of golf clubs and everything. So We've like, never worked on putting, so here we go. First putting lessons, right? I just patterned my mentoring off of what my mentors did. Uh, they basically told me if right from wrong, explained to me what the value of education was, how to treat people. Uh, those are the things I just pass on to, to these guys and then have a little fun. Nice and easy. Oh, you hit the pin. That was great. <laughs> okay, the first time you hit the pin, that was great. You should have saved that one for the tournament. Being an old guy, you know, you get to you get to get a little hipper. You get some cool points. I also get a lot out of it because I know uh, I'm giving something that's good and of value uh, to two young guys that are going somewhere. There you go. I love that they actually par partnered me up with two kids. Uh, uh, I asked for two, and I got it. And it's a great program. Uh, I would just love to see more people involved. He brought it. Hey, that was a good first lesson, though. That was a good first lesson. That was the first time putting, right? Yeah. CYC has more than 500 students waiting for mentors. The need for tutors is even greater. Maybe you can help a student's college dream come true. What we ask our volunteers to do is to commit for one year and to reach out weekly to the young person that they're working with. My goal is to change tremendously.